Hello, you beautiful, beautiful person. How are you today? I am Nikki Drake. If we have not met yet, I always get that wrong. And pow, today I got it right. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Guess what I have? A prayerful planner. What did I do? Get ink on it? Oh my, look at this beautiful thing. If you guys have not seen this yet, my unboxing video, is this not gorgeous? I am so in love with this. Um, I'm going to set it up today, kind of, because some of the things I've already done, I got too excited and didn't have the camera available. So I was like, no, I'm just doing it. So some of it I did, but some of it we're going to look at today. So I want to show you this. This is brand new for 2020 and it's dated, which is the way that I wanted it because I have found for me, it's hard for me to go in and take the time to date it, which sounds silly. I know, but I got a lot going on with my ministry. So the first thing I did that I wanted to show you is there was a folder here and it matches. If I can get a hold of it, why can't I get a hold of it? I just cut my nails off yesterday. Ah, um, it matches this. So it was almost kind of hard to see where to grab. And so I just took this thin washi tape like um, these and just lined it like that. Now, let me show you what's going on with why it's all messy over here. If I can get this out. Oh, wow. I really chopped my nails off, didn't I? Okay. So I ordered this from them, which is so cute because look at the pen. Uh, I want some of her felt tip pens so badly so badly. But I, I did order this. And um, what this is, is it's called a wet erase board. And so you can draw on here um, with this special pen. And then you just take a little baby wipe or a little uh, damp paper towel and wipe it off and it comes right off. But here's the thing. I had it up here when I first wrote on it and closed my book and it ended up smearing off onto that. I don't know if I was supposed to let it dry for a certain amount of time, but I decided once I get into these days where I have it planned, um, it won't matter too much if a little bit of ink gets on the other side. But in the front, don't do that because you don't want to get ink on your inside. Okay, so this is kind of fun. Ah, what do I got going on? This is kind of fun. Um, these stickers are from my latest issue of Entrusted Magazine, and that link is below if you would like to subscribe to that. I have all kinds of cute stickers that are free and exclusive only for the people in that. Um, subscribe to that magazine. It's really awesome. These stickers I got from Prayerful Planner. They came along with the planner, which was great. Um, let's see what's next. This I have not done anything yet, but I think it's really cool how to use prayer requests. Okay, so here I wanted to talk about this. Um, I have never done a word of the year. If you guys have done a word of the year, will you let me know what your word is, either for 2019 or what you already have planned for 2020? Doesn't matter either way. I just want to know. And um, this came in one of her stickers, and it said unshakable. There weren't any other words that I noticed that were on her stickers. And I thought, well, you know, that isn't necessarily the best word of the year for everybody. But I got to thinking about it, and I thought, no, for me, that is the best word of the year. So for my very first ever word of the year, it is unsh unshakable. And that's because in 2019, God taught me a big lesson about how we are rooted in Christ. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you've heard me say that before. And Christos, and it means there we are immovable in Christ. And um, so my my word is unshakable. And uh, so I'm super excited about that. I need to fill this out. Why did you choose this word? And then my verse of the year, I'm still working on that. So I've been praying about that. These are stickers that you get from Jennifer at Prayerful Planner. If you um, order a planner, you get a bunch of uh, links to different sticker kits that she comes out with each month. Um, this is a purpose worksheet. And it shows you how to do it. Um, I feel like for me, I, I'm really clear on what my purpose is. So I didn't, I have not filled this out. Um, I, I never have a doubt about what my purpose is. I feel that I'm truly living out what God has created me to do. And that is this ministry. That is my being a wife to my husband and being a mother to the children that God blessed me with. And um, so I'm not really struggling with that. But if you are, I think this would be super awesome for you. Um, this, okay, I'm going to redo because I started writing these things down and then I thought, well, wait, I'm just writing goals and I need to write those over here. So this, because it's a vision board, I'm actually going to print off some cute little clip art from uh, Pinterest or wherever I can find it with actual vision. I've never had one. I watch it on Hallmark movies where they have a little vision board. And I'm like, that is so cool. I've never had one of those. And so I'm going to have one. So I put some washi tape around it to decorate it. I'm going to cover this probably with white paper. 
and then um, put, make it into my little vision board. So when that's done, I will show it to you. Um, here I just took my zebra mild liners. I'm going to get some of the bright colored ones. These are fluorescent. These are great, um, and they make it look so pretty. So I did that, and I'll transfer this information to this. Let me see what else I did to set us up for January. So this was a little note page. And in the front of every month, there is a note page. And this particular one, I thought, since it's at the very beginning of the book, I'm going to set it up for something that I can use all year long. And so I used some Dollar Tree stickers, some washi tape, and wrote down the things that I need to make. These are, these are for my ministry, for my business. Okay, things I need to make each month, to write each month, to film each month, and then things I need to make sure that I'm checking weekly. There is a there is a, a wide variety of things that are involved in my ministry. And right now it's just me. Um, I do have uh, an editor and I do have guest authors that write for my Entrusted Magazine, but I'm doing all of the um, behind the scenes work on top of filming YouTube videos. So there's a lot to it. And so I thought, well, this will help me as I think of things. I can kind of um, get my uh, la, 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 plan for each month. And so that's why I went ahead and put that there. Now this is January. It's not like the prettiest thing, but I got these cute stickers at Dollar Tree and I just wanted to use them. So I did that and used some washi tape for that. And then I started decorating, um, the pages and they got a little wild. I used a lot of the stickers that she gave me um, for free. This one I love. This is my favorite. These are my stickers that I sell in my Etsy print shop, and they are the Study the Word sticker kit, I think they are, but I love the colors in them. And I just used some ripped washi, and um, oh, you guys, this is my favorite part about her planner. Okay, there's several things. Let me tell you what they are. First of all, it's it says seven to seven. Okay. And I didn't know what that meant. I was like, what is this? Why does it stop at 12? And then it starts over. I'm like, what does that mean? Okay. Duh. I was like, Nikki, that means 7 AM to 12 PM. And then it means 1 PM to 7 PM. And I thought, girl, that is the perfect day for me. Yes. That is the perfect day for me. She don't want you to get up at 5 AM. She, she realistic here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? She don't want you to work until 10 PM. She's like, cut it off at seven, begin it at seven, cut it off at seven. And I'm like, yes, that is my kind of day. And so that's what it is. So if you have something scheduled at 1230, you're going to write it right in there. Awesome. Right. The other really cool thing that I think of, about this planner that I love is that this little square here is says post it. And it didn't occur to me when I unboxed this that that's what that's for, but it's for Posty Notes. Aren't they cute? So I have like this whole little shopping cart full of Posty Notes and um, the little square ones, the actual like Post-it brand fit in there perfectly. And then these are just some Dollar Tree ones that I have that fit in there nicely. So I'm really excited about that using those. Um, the other thing that I think is neat is that um, there's a scripture. Okay, so you can, um, what I plan to do is write my prayers based on this scripture and, and hopefully maybe even do some Bible study along with that scripture. So she's got a little list up here that you can mark off every day that you read the Bible. And so she's got it marked out real tiny in the front, which I think is so cute. And so it goes all the way, like um, January goes all the way to the 31st. And then you start here with February 1st and it goes all the way through to the 29th. And then you'll go March 1st. So if you mark them off in pretty little colors by the end of the year, you have marked off this whole thing and you will have read part of God's word every single day, which is great. Another thing that I love then is that, um, this physical health, because it's not like defining what we have to do, it shows the cups of water that there's so many different ways that you could use that. So one idea I have is I need to lose like 10 pounds really bad. And in order to lose weight, you have to move more and eat less. And it's really hard to eat less unless you are keeping track of your calories. And so I was thinking, okay, I could keep track, like count each one of these cups of water as like 200 calories or 300 calories, 250 probably. And then every time I have 250 calories, just mark off one of my glasses of water and know that then once the water's full, well, Nikki better be full because she's not eating anymore. I don't know if I'll do that, but that's one of my New Year's resolutions. And so I thought that's a fun way to use that. 
that can be so many different things. That could be um, take the stairs at work and you can mark off one of the cups. That could be, see, I love water. I love water. So I don't have to track water, but I don't think she intended it to just be water. I think she intended it to be a creative and fun way to keep track of anything for your physical health. You know, let's say you do stretches every day. Okay, well, mark them off, you know. Um, just think of any way that you can keep track of your physical health there. Um, your priorities is awesome. So I've set that up. So I am so ready to start filling this out. I cannot wait. I did some, just some random setup pages um, like this. This is from the Entrusted Magazine. These are Grace, um, Raining Grace sticker kit on my Etsy print shop. I love these little um, washies, the little thin ones. I use them all the time. Um, you can see that I do. I use them a lot, lot, lot. And so those are fun. <clears throat> Let's see, where else am I? Oh, this one's fun. Okay, so the Dollar Tree stickers that I bought, I had some random letters left. Whoop! And I call my husband Huzz. And this said hashtag my love. And so I thought, okay, well, I'm going to write Huzz there. So on this day, I'm going to specifically pray for things about my husband. And then I got to thinking, you know, I have five kids now um, with this new little one and I have a grandson and I have a um, son-in-law. And so, well, kind of a son-in-law, <laughs> he may as well be. And um, so there are people and my parents that I can pray for one of them every day. And so I thought, okay, well, I'm going to devote each day um, to <clears throat> prayer for one person in my family. So I thought that was really fun. So that's my setup for this year. Um, and then February, when February comes, I will do a video with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. I hate to do that on video, but you know what? I needed to cough. These are some of the free stickers that you get from her um, on her website. And uh, I have sticker paper that I found at a really good price. If you click the link below um, to the My Bible Study Supplies, you will find this the white sticker paper. You can get a hundred sheets of it for, I think it's 11 or $12. Anyway, I love it. So um, she gives you some super cute stickers that I cannot wait to use. I've kind of stuffed them in for next year. I'm in the October and November area and stuff so that they're ready to go. But I just wanted to show you the setup of this, how I have it planned. And the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is work on my... Well, I'm going to do my vision board and my goals, and I'll show you guys that after I'm done. And then I'm going to work on my scripture, yes, my verse of the year, and um, write out, fill out why I chose these. So I'm going to work on that, and I'll do more videos with this planner because I'm absolutely in love with it. I cannot wait to be able to use it. I'm like, is January 1st yet? Is it January 1st yet? No, it's not January 1st yet, but it's coming. So I was going to do a giveaway um, with the large planner that I received. And I don't want you to be disappointed, but I'm not going to do a giveaway because I have someone very special that I want to have it. Um, I prayed about it a lot. And um, there is someone very special in my life that I know um, it will be a blessing to. And you will be watching for a video because I will be doing... Um, uh, testimony, I guess, um, about this person. And so you will be able to learn why I chose this special person to have, um, the big, large planner that is just like this, but it's larger. It's really, really nice. So I just wanted to let you know, I'm not going to do a giveaway because I have somebody special that God wants me to give it to this little thing here. I'm going to show you, you can put it in like, like so. So you just pop it in there and then you can move it each day if you need to, like make a grocery list or whatever. And you could really easily just pull this out and stick it in your purse too. Um, and you just write down what you need to write down and it's just a piece of cake like that. So I ordered that from her um, when she had a, I think she had a 20% off sale. And so basically I got the shipping for free, which was nice. But here's the thing I want you to know about these, these planners, you guys, if you didn't watch my unboxing video, um, we spend a lot of money on planners as crafty women that we are. And I don't actually, I was gifted my planners because I just don't have the extra money at this point in my life. But, um, in general, we spend a lot of money on planners and stickers and pens. And, um, this company is, is a Christian family. It's her and her husband, Christian family, um, we need to support small businesses and we especially need to support 
small Christian businesses. And so if you are looking for a planner, please consider purchasing from this company. They are a bit pricey, um, but I promise you that it's worth it. It's worth it to keep your whole year organized, to keep track of your Bible study, to keep tra track of your scripture writing, to keep track of your health. Like you can keep track of everything in this one book, everything. And it helps you just have more purpose with your prayer, more purpose with your um, Bible reading. It just really helps you keep track of things. And I think it's well worth the money when you look at all that it can do. And it comes in this beautifully fabulous box. If you have not seen it, you're going to watch my, going to want to watch my unboxing video because it's the most beautiful box I've ever received something in. So beautiful. I um, mean, it makes such a beautiful gift. So I will see you later. I love you guys. I do. I'm so thankful for you. You have no idea how thankful I am for you. So thankful for you. And thank you so much for your support here on YouTube and to my Patreons for supporting me um, in my Bible study classes and my art classes. I love doing those videos for you and I love making the exclusive sticker sheets and printables for you. Um, and so I just love you guys. I do. I love you so much. And I just thank you so much for um, being here with me. Tomorrow's my birthday and I'm going to be 46. That's so old. Am I going to be 46? Yeah, I'm going to be 46. Yeah, because I was in Club 45 this year. Now I'm not going to be in Club 45 any longer. I'm going to be 46 and I have a new baby in my life. Not a new baby. She's one, but she's a new baby. <laughs> she's a very active little baby. So God's got me on my, on my toes and I got to keep track of some stuff. So I'm going to love this. I'll see you later. Bye.